Hey, good top of the morning to you whosoevers. This is Tony Whosoever, uh, delivering old school teaching from the Bible from Pastor McGee on Revelation chapter 20, the rise of, uh, of, uh, of, of the return of God, the rise of, of, of the promises of God, the rise of, of righteousness and, uh, you know, the good guys. You know, guys, as we head into the end times, today is the 26th day of September 2023. The reason I give you dates, so you know that, that, that God was able to preach about the coming tribulation hour before the tribulation, so that you can know that there's a God in heaven that knows the beginning from the end. Now, Satan is the god of this world, guys. He controls uh, religion, uh, economics, uh, political system. You know, it's a three-legged stool of Mystery Babylon. We know that Mystery Babylon will be destroyed. We know it as we head into the end times. Um, you know, guys, people always ask me, you know, why do I have, if you're a Christian, why do you have tattoos? I'm all, Look at guys, all my tattoos are from the Bible, most of them. Except the Nintendo. I like the Nintendo because I'm a gamer. I've been a gamer since I was a kid. You know, kept me out of trouble many, many, many years. Uh, but Satan, um, uh, Satan is about to rule and reign in uh, tribulation hour. The revived Roman Empire is coming. The Ten Kings are coming. The cashless society is coming. The the food shortages and the food uh, supplies and the uh, all these things the Bible predicted is again uh, bringing in uh, the the end times, bringing in the last days. You know, I like, I like, if you like, I have Ash, right over there, see that right there, the Evil Dead, um, I like Ash, I think, I think uh, he would be a cool preacher if he was born again, um, but again guys, Satan is the god of this world today, but he's about, he, in the Bible says that he's going to be bound for a thousand years. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and the great chain in his hand. And he laid hold of the dragon and the old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And cast him into the bottomless pit, shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosed uh, for a season. I guess, again, guys, if I forgive me if I already did this, but uh, I feel like the Lord is giving me more insight uh, on these verses. You will notice that the thousand years are mentioned two times in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1 through 3. They are mentioned a total of six times in the 20th chapter. It is true that the millennium is mentioned only in one chapter, but God mentions it six times. Uh, God wants us, again, uh, to understand that's what is coming. You know, uh, there's not going to be real peace until the Lord's return. There's not going to be real, um, you know, utopia until the Lord returns. You know, he is coming to bring uh, the millennium. Um, again, guys, uh, there are some expositors who separate the section from the millennium, classify them. The enemy, see? Uh, look at that. I don't know why it's, that's happening to me, but I give it all to the Lord. Um, but this is the closing of the day of wrath. Uh, again, guys, it is true that Satan is the god of this world. He's, uh, he's like a pharaoh. Control, having the children of Israel in bondage. Um, he controls uh, basically his henchmen, his minions. That's why I, I don't really like those Disney, you know, one eye minions are basically the workers of Satan um, controlling the world. Remember, guys, Satan is the god of this age. He is the prince of the power of the air. And his power and influence in the world are numerous beyond the calculations of any computer with withdrawal makes way for the millennium for with him loose there can be no millennium therefore we see satan's relationship to the millennium is this he must be removed from the earth seen before it can take place men talk about bringing peace on the earth about producing prosperity and all sort of thing the world system will finally be headed up by the antichrist and he will not be able to accomplish peace or prosperity, although for a while it will look like he will. But as long as Satan is abroad in this world, you cannot live in utopia down here. You cannot have an ideal situation with him. Uh, so this angel 
laid hold of the dragon. Satan's great power is reduced. For an ordinary angel becomes his jailer. He leads him to captive into the bottomless pit. Again, guys. Uh, why is Satan loosed after God once put him in the abyss and chains? Well, God knows what he's doing, guys. Um, you know, he's... There was an old pastor used to say used to say that uh, when Satan does his dirty work and, 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 and lays down the dice, you know, God is God has loaded his dice. No matter what he does, God is behind the scenes orchestrating um, the thing. Satan has been responsible for for the first murder, for the lies, for the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, uh, the, the traditions of men. All these things are satanic in origin, guys. Um, so we know that um, uh, the closer we get to the, the storms of life, you know, remember guys, we're preaching this, and the reason why I do this, is because I want you to see that the, the headship of the beginning of the tribulation that is coming, uh, mid-trip, he makes an image and declares himself to be God, and the end of the tribulation that brings in the millennium reign. So no matter what anybody says, remember, we're, there's still 1,700 years left. Before God makes a new heaven and a new earth. Um, God is telling us that uh, he's going to give us a resurrected body. Um, God is telling us that um, that he knows what he's doing. You know, you know, the Bible says, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, uh, you shall say to the mountain, Hey, get out of here. Move. Nothing will be impossible, guys. You know, guys, when we have the Lord, nothing's impossible. You know, greater is he who is in us. That he's in the world. Understand that we live by faith. We walk by faith. We we, we, we pray and intercede by faith. You know. Uh, again, guys, when you read uh, the book of Revelation, you understand that you know we're just uh, we're, we're, God is winding down human history uh, to accomplish the will and to basically separate the goats and the sheep, uh, uh, his sons versus uh, the devil's sons. Um, even remember Mystery Harley, the Harley in the book of Revelation, take note, Bible students, take note, that the Antichrist, when he turns on the Harley of Revelation, he, he's going to destroy her children, not God's children. She, Mystery Babylon, the Queen of Heaven. Now, if you're a Catholic, and you're in the Tribulation, and you're worshiping the Queen of Heaven, you should be very, very worried, because you're about to be killed. You're, and you're about to go to hell. It's not even worse. It's worse than that. You're going to be killed, and then you're going to go to hell. You were worshiping a, f a false god. And then you had the angels, you had the 144,000 evangelists, and you had, you know, you, you, you had the word of God. All these things were warning you, and you wouldn't listen. You know, you followed Tom. You know, stop following Tom. Who's Tom? The traditions of men. Stop following Tom. You know, God knows what he's doing. You know, the answer to evil, my friend, is... God uh, coming back. Uh, uh, God had Satan incarcerated for 1,000 years because there could not be a millennium without his uh, being in jail. So a lot of things we're seeing right now, guys. Oh, the, the, we And here in Santa Cruz County, I think we had over 30 people die in the last year uh, from fentanyl overdose. You know, there used to be a lot more homeless down, down in Watsonville in Santa Cruz. There's not that many. They're all dead. Satan is bringing in, I think the globalists, they're just, you know, if you're not, if you're not going to be a, a productive member of society, you know, here, do this drug and go to sleep and die. And I think that's, you know, basically what's happening. Who would want to do a drug that kills you? That is crazy. So again, guys, may the Lord bless you. Uh, be girded, be strengthened. Remember, Satan is going to be bound. We're heading into the end times. Um, if the if the living knew what the dead knew, the whole world would follow Jesus Christ. If you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you should say to the mountain, move. And when Jesus went out, he saw the great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and he healed the sick. Jesus has compassion, guys. He wants you to be saved. You know? You want to spend eternity with the Lord, but you can't spend five minutes in God's Word. There's something wrong. Let me say it again. Many are going to die for Christ in the Great Tribulation period. But they will live again. 
The tribulation saints are going to trade in three and a half years for 1,000 years. Remember that, guys. The prophecy is knowing first that there is no private interpretation of scriptures. These are literal, reasonable, literal uh, timeline that God has allowed to usher in so that all the, all the inhabitants of the earth, both rich and poor, free and bond, young and old, will be tried. Are you going to accept Jesus Christ and die for your faith? Or are you going to choose the Antichrist, take the mark in your right hand and in your forehead and, and end up in hell with boils, boils all over your body? Did that guy take the mark? Yeah, look at those boils. <laughs> yeah, he took the mark. And then the guy who didn't take the mark. There's a believer over there. Look at him. He has no mark. He has no boils. <laughs> your own skin is going to turn against you. It's going to, uh, and then they're going to chop your head off. You had a clear, at least you had a clear complexion, right? So who knows, guys? May the Lord bless you. Um, uh, you know, the whole point of these messages is to get you ready to what is coming, what the Lord says will take place. Uh, all these things are in our future. The prophetic prophecies of God's word are as true as as tomorrow's news you know oh the economies of the world collapse there's great turmoil there's there's run for the grocery stores you know there's run for gasoline you know we're, we're running out of supplies what are we to do oh well, and then you know the whole world is brought together and then they'll come up with the plan the plan's already been in place by the way they're the one that orchestrated it to put a chip in your right hand and in your forehead. The name of the beast, the image of his name, a lightning bolt, and the number of his name, 666. And I think that the image of his name is going to be Barak. We'll see. We'll see how history plays out. So may the Lord bless you. Be girded, be strengthened. Tomorrow we'll go over um, when Satan is loosed yet again. For a thousand years. But only for a short time, guys. Only for a short time. God does this for a reason. Um, and then he gets thrown into the lake of fire. Where the false prophet and the false antichrist, the beast of revelation are there. Uh, One thousand years before anybody else is thrown in there. So people are in hell. People are in hell. But the only people in the millennium are going to be in the lake of fire. And the tribulation are going to be the false prophet and uh, uh, the false prophet and the beast of revelation they'll be there 1000 years before even satan gets thrown in there so remember hell was made for the devil and his angels it was never made, meant for man but if you reject jesus christ and you don't want to be saved that's where you're going to end up all eternity god you were made in god's image god is eternal so therefore you're going to you need an eternal place to be and you don't want to be that eternal be to be to be hell okay so may the lord bless you be girded be strengthened the Lord is coming, he's coming quickly, and his reward is with him.